Greetings everyone, this is Stirring It Up with Chef B. I am here at Sankofa Books and Video, or I think it's Video and Books. In Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C. We are on the Let Plants Nourish You book tour. And my special guest today is Frank Love, Yao Tai's other known as, or better known as, Frank Love. One of my brothers from a long, long time. Thank Please. you for being here today. Happy Father's Day to all of the fellas out there. That's right, it is our yeah, day. Yeah, so it? happy Father's Day. I got five. <laughs> yes, he does. He has five. Absolutely. So happy Father's Day to you. Happy, happy Father's you. Day to my brother, Fabian. Happy Father's Day to the Baba. All right, and happy Father's Day to everybody that's out there. Today, we are talking a little bit about men's health, and we're also going to be talking about love and relationships. Frank Love loves to run his mouth about relationships and my hand and writing <laughs> and writing <laughs> and so we're gonna just kind of mention a little bit about what fellas need to know about being uh, healthy as it relates to their prostate because that prostate cancer is something that actually really uh, affects the black community is it prostate or prostate or pro pro prostate <laughs> it's not prostate it's prostate people say that kind of it's, it's, it's prostate. Or prostate prostate people, people, yeah prostate Prostate. It's not prostrate. I don't think it's prostrate. It's I think that's, you know, not. when you're in the hood yeah, yeah, yeah. and they say prostrate or strawberries. Yes. Right? Or scrape. Okay. Yeah, it's Got prostate. It. Or scrump. Or scrump. Got you. Scrump. Right. Yes. Right. So Thank prostate. You. So we're just going to mention that a little bit. Today we're keeping it real simple because we know folks are out and about. It's a sunny day. So this was actually very apropos. But we know that folks are out with their families, but we wanted to offer you guys something that's really good for the prostate. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make a very simple watermelon juice. Do you like watermelon juice? <laughs> I like watermelon. Yes. Comes the juice okay, sure. wonderful. So, you know, a lot of times people don't actually drink the watermelon juice. Uh -huh. They just eat the watermelon, dog it out. Okay. But you can actually use this to help your prostate. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Wonderful. So Frank Love, my brother from another mother, for 20 plus years. 20 plus years. So yeah. let me tell you guys a little bit about Frank Love. I've been knowing him since I was a freshman in college. All right. His sister is my best friend. Big ups to Dr. Amatias, who's also here in D.C. Big ups, big ups. And we've just been friends for a long time. And I've just seen him develop, him grow as a man, as a family man, husband. And just different things have happened in your life. And you wanted to basically write it down because you know other people are dealing with those yeah, those yeah, things, yeah. right? I'm still dealing with some of them. <laughs> you know, I'm sharing what I'm actually made, up, what I'm dealing with, have dealt with, what I think. You know, it's all kinds of good yeah, things, you know, that exactly. I'm working, through, working on. Exactly. Yeah. And so he and writes sure. about love, right? And tell him a little bit about what you write about. Tell him a little bit about that. Topic. I write about relationships, and my my focus is really acceptance and loving being loving and accepting in relationships uh, I, I want and I, I coach that also I want I want us to do a much better job working with one another and being patient with one another and being loving with one another even during the most trying circumstances yes. many of us don't even know mm -hmm. that you can be loving when faced with certain issues but you know if you have someone that is like hold up <laughs> pause you can be loving even in that scenario, even though it may be hard. Yeah. And that's that's me. That's yeah. me. Okay. You know? So you're coaching people now. Absolutely. Wonderful. So I know. Tell me a little bit about the first book because I know there are a couple other installments. But right. the first book, what was it? Uh, breaking up. First book was how to gracefully how exit to, a relationship. How to great gracefully exit a relationship. Yes. Yes. So kind of tell the folks like how did that come to be. What was the impetus for that that book? Yeah, it's 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 so hard to say exactly <laughs> what you know. It's, it's, it takes it's so a lifetime. Much, right? It's your first yep. book, so it's a lifetime. But I was married. I was recently, you know, a year, few years out of being divorced, maybe four years out of being divorced, and uh, and and also I have so many conversations with individuals who are at each other's throats yeah. um, when they break up, and I just saw an opportunity, an important opportunity to have hard conversations. Yes. There, there are really some hard conversations that we get to have and navigate before they're even an issue, before breaking, well, I mean, before a breakup. 
I mean, one of the conversations that I suggest is, here's how I may break up with you. Mm. I mean, just something like mm. that. That way, mm. if, imagine having that conversation. Yes. And if I do it, you're not surprised. You're not playing victim. You're not acting as though, oh, he did me wrong. No, you already knew mm. what my tendency was. was. Yes, right. yes. Or another conversation is, we may break up. I mean, just something as yeah, simple as and that. And I like when you say that, you know, because the reality is when people get in relationships, they never think about the actual end of a relationship. Absolutely. They usually think about the beginning, the sweet parts of the relationship, yes. but they're not thinking about how it could be tumultuous and then we actually may have to part ways. Absolutely. And and that's okay. Yep. That's that, that can be a natural part of the relationship process. And I just want individuals to to be understanding of that and to also love each other through that. Yeah. You know? And and to go into relationships with that understanding. That this could happen. Yeah. And it's okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I really appreciate that because one of the things that, you know, we talk about on the show are these different aspects of wellness. Yes. And emotional wellness is a very important aspect of wellness, in particular for the brothers, because we know that our men are holding on to a lot of emotional baggage. They don't necessarily have someone that they feel like they can talk to yes. and share some of the trials and tribulations that's happening in their relationship, their marriages, whatever is happening in yes. the home. Yes. And so I'm grateful that you have a space now that you made available for the brothers. Do you have a lot of men that you coach or just sort of people? Uh, as men and women. women. But really? my focus is admittedly men. Good. That's really where I, I see the rich area to grow. And I see, that's my sweet, sweet spot. I mean, and I found my sweet spot when, I mean, I found my sweet spot over the years with somebody, I had a conversation and someone asked me, when do you cry? Mm. And I found mm. myself, I cry in certain movies <laughs> where men are working their stuff out. Mm. That's the movies where I'm boo-hooing. When I really, Antoine Fisher, mm. oh, at the end, yes. yo, Men working yes. their stuff out. I even, I even teared up. Me and my father. Don't tell my dad I said that. <laughs> he but heard even you. Even teared up in, in Coco, the Disney movie oh, Coco. A young boy working through his stuff. Coco. Know, Coco. Yeah. If y'all have not seen Coco, I talk about that movie all the time. It is an absolutely incredible movie about ancestors yes. and being connected to family. Yes. Right. Beautiful movie. I need to check that one. Creed, the first one, Ooh. where where the the young guy and Rocky were kind of mm -hmm. about to part ways because Rocky didn't want to go through the 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 what is it the cancer mm -hmm. treatment. I mean to watch them mm. navigate. I mean that kind of stuff. And so I you know it it touches me at a yeah. place that's beyond yeah. intellect. It's just it just touches my heart. And so I love my brothers. I love my sisters. And the way to my sisters is through my brothers. Yes. And it's not, so I know it's not just I care about yeah. the brothers. I care about both. And my way in is the brothers. Well, I'll say this, you know, in the wellness space, you know that women are doing the work, right? And it's not as evident who in the male space is doing work. So it's always wonderful when you have folks like you who are creating space for men. I because I know that there's so many brothers out there that don't cry. Yeah. They don't take time to, to heal. They don't take time to just sort of release yeah. and let those emotions out. Yeah. And it actually impacts your body. And this is actually really good because you talked about crying and being emotional. And that actually impacts your sacral chakra. You know my chakra. Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe not as much as you. But I, I'm and I'm not. And I'm not like the bomb bomb. Yeah. But when I was actually doing some research this morning, I was like, "Wow, the sacral chakra is about your emotions." All right. And so when you think of different ways that different uh, diseases manifest in the body, it's because you're not releasing. You're not sort of being able to exercise that emotional detox that you need to exercise. Wow. And some of the things that happen is things like prostate cancer. Wow. So for those of you out there, the brothers, prostate cancer is affecting men, African-American disproportionately. And I was talking to Dr. Amma this morning about that and he's like, we don't even know because the research has not been done on why black men are being affected by prostate cancer. But when you actually look at your chakra chart, your sacral chakra, which is right in the groin area, which is where the prostate is located, 
that's where your emotional sort of space is, um, energy center is. And so you, it's so important for the men to release, so important for the men to have another brother or whomever that they're sharing whatever they're dealing with, Absolutely. right? Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. What kind of work are you doing now? I'm actually working on my second book. It's pretty mm -hmm. much done. Mm -hmm. It's called 25 Ways to Be Loving. Ooh. That, that's a really fun project. Ooh, it's I, a real I fun love project. that. So is this 25 Ways to Be Loving from your perspective, like in terms of your, your love languages? Or have you collected data from different people? You know, it's interesting when you use the term love languages, because that goes to Dr. Gary Chapman, who wrote the five love languages. Yes. And, and he has five. But what I've done, I'm not so much do, using what I call love languages. I'm giving examples and scenarios where you have the opportunity to be loving, and this is how they may look. Mm. This is, you know, your partner comes to you yelling about something. What might you do? Mm. To be loved, mm -hmm. you I mean, there's all there's there's 25 of them. So, wow. and and the the real um, the real soul of the piece comes from comes from a place that that where many of us seem to think that we have to be hard on our partners. Uh, I'm not gonna stand for this. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't get away with this with me. That kind. We come to relationships often with that level of just angst yeah. and you know, hardness yes. and instead you actually don't have to be confrontational you actually can there's an opportunity to be loving mm. in pretty much every situation and that's that's wild for a lot of people yes. a lot of people are in not every situation themselves. every situation wow yes i love that and so just here's a little here's some tips mm -hmm. here's some guidance here's some example of how you can be loving and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So, th did you just start this? Is this no. coming out? You know, like next year? Uh, August first. Oh, this is soon. No, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. It's written. It's out for you know the reviewers, the, the professionals that were weighing in, endorsing it. I love it. it. Yeah, I'm having fun with it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. All right. So, what we're gonna do is let's kind of jump to the watermelon juice. All right. So, I know that you love watermelon. Now, I'm from the south. I could not find. Watermelons with seeds. In DC? I was having a hard time finding it. Alright. So ideally, uh, y'all, I'm just gonna tell you, ideally, uh -huh. we want to deal with watermelons. Real watermelons. Real watermelons. Uh, so the ones that have seeds. Alright? But you know, I say that it's better than not having them at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just chunk this up. Alright? And you know what gives watermelon a beautiful red color? No clue. No clue. <laughs> say, well, no, no. Well, should, I mean, given we've talked already. Can I, lycopene? Ah, is that what it was? See, you remember. We, we talked about this a little earlier. <laughs> you were listening. I was listening. Oh, wonderful. Yes, lycopene is actually a wonderful, what is it? It's an antioxidant. So you're putting the... Everything. The rind? Yes. And, okay. Yes, uh, everything. So All oftentimes right. people will just cut out the red part, yeah. which is the meaty part, uh -huh. but the rind has a ton of nutrients as well. It's good for your blood pressure as well. Another wonderful... Now, do, um, you, do you wash the... Yeah, the watermelon yeah, before you, can, you put yeah. soap and water and you wash the watermelon <laughs> you don't have to put soap and water just rinse just it off rinse it. Okay. yeah you all can right. just rinse it off you don't have to do all of that because okay. honestly you need those microbes wow you okay. need you need some dirt in your life okay right that's going to help your immune system anyway all right so and i'm just you, go ahead go ahead if you if you had a watermelon with seeds in it would you put the seeds in it? yes you would okay. it's an awesome it's snack you can definitely you can actually tell, take the seeds out if you uh -huh. wanted to and then what you can do is you can roast them uh -huh. and you can use the watermelon seeds as a snack. So am I selling myself out by spitting out the seeds? You are selling yourself out See? big time. Yes, sir. Okay. You're wasting away all the goodness. Okay, yes. what you got going on with the garlic? All right, that's okay. not garlic. Smell. What is it? Oh, no, not ginger. garlic, that's ginger. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See? Uh, all right, what you got going on with the ginger? Because you're so, not skinning it? No, we're not skinning any you're of this. Skinning, you're no. just... I'm telling you, we, we, we rough and raw, okay? okay? We rough and raw. So the ginger is gonna actually help with your digestion. And it also gives this a wonderful flavor, okay? All right. All right. So we have this here. We gotta help it a little bit. We got 
take my hand and just push this down even more mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right and just adjust and that should do it and you sh I can't have you hand. cannot have any no not yet <laughs> <laughs> called a nut milk bag. A what? A <laughs> this is called a nut milk bag. Have you seen this before? Mm -hmm. Nut yes. milk yeah. bag. Mm -hmm. Like milk. Yes. Milk so milk. actually you can make your own milks, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of times what we do is we just kind of buy uh -huh. our own milk, right? Uh -huh. But really you can make your own milk. Okay. And so this, you just basically put everything in like we're doing. Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you squeeze. See mm. that? And so you're getting all the nutrients from the rind. Okay. You're getting all the nutrients from the skin. You're getting everything, but you're leaving a little bit of the fiber out. You're getting the ginger, that okay. wonderful ginger flavor. Uh -huh. But all of the skin that you were talking about earlier, you're not getting How do you learn all of this stuff? Man, I'm just smart like you. <laughs> uh, you're just smart. I don't I'm know just about smart me. like you. Yeah, and so this is a beautiful, beautiful, um, nourishing drink for the prostate. All right, so for prostate health, we want to make sure that we're drinking half our body weight in water. Simple things that men can do. That never makes sense to me. Half our body weight. I weigh in ounces. Behind. I'm sorry. In See, ounces of water. Thank you. Sorry. Thank so you. sorry. All right. Half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you're a man, you're right. 180 pounds. Yeah. 90 ounces. 90 ounces of water, of water day. daily because okay. your cells need those nutrients. Okay. Your cell needs to be hydrated. And what All if right? I don't like going to the bathroom a lot? Well, look, that's just part of what you got to do. Get over you know, that's All just right. part of what you have to do. All right, so since you're the daddy of the day, uh -huh. there you go. I want you to try that. I can actually taste you it. You can now taste See, I wanted it to be perfect for you. All right, for yes, I'll sure. shake. <laughs> oh, this is that ginger? The what? Mm. Yes. Yeah, so okay. you can actually do this cold. You can chill it if you like, or you can just drink it room temperature. So once again, for the prostate water, and the reason why we're doing watermelon is because watermelon is considered to be a living water, mm -hmm. all right? It has all of these amazing nutrients mm -hmm. and it's hydrating the body. It has a natural diuretic. It has the lycopene. It's going to really help you just kind of flush your kidneys out, flush your organs out. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're going for, just for prostate maintenance. Okay. Some other things that you might want to consider bringing into your diet is pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin okay. seeds are really, really good and nourishing for the prostate. Okay. I didn't see zinc. Okay. I didn't see zinc. I was so surprised. I mean, I was like, watermelon. Watermelon is like top of the list. Water is top of the list. Pumpkin seeds is top of the list. Okay. And then there are a few others that I can share in the thread. Yeah. What are you going to do with the fiber? 
All right, so what you can do with this, you can actually put this in your compost bin, all right, so that it's not wasting away. All right. All right, do you, have, do, you do gardening? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I got a uh, garbage disposal. Yeah, yeah, you can do that too. I mean, we in the city, y'all, so right. since we're in the city, we may not want to, you know, you know. But I got a lawn. I can just throw it on my lawn. You can throw it on your lawn. Yeah, that's, you absolutely, right. absolutely. Okay. But drink your watermelon juice. All right, so Frank Love. Ma'am. So, any other events happening? Anything coming up besides the book launch in August? That's that's the big deal for me. I mean, I'm traveling all the time. I, I'm I don't know where I am this coming week. I'm in New Haven. Yes. Uh, at Yale, and then Ooh, next week. Wonderful. Um, I can't keep up. I'm in St. Louis next week. Excellent. And so I don't know. So yeah, I'm all over the place. But you know, y'all don't. Yeah, that, that's. That's those particular So what's going events. on with the radio show? Is that happening still? It's on hiatus right now. Okay. So. He has an amazing radio show, y'all. It's, it's so wonderful. Over 100 episodes. If you want to check Ooh. them out, they, you know, they're archived on my website, franklove.com. Yes. Franklove.com. Check it out. Yeah, so we'll definitely add the link to Frank Love. Okay. It's dot .net? Or dot .com. Dot .com. I mean, it's both. So it's both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And we will make sure that you guys stay connected to this guy. He's awesome. And then, of course, the book will launch August the August day. 1 this first and then if you guys are unable of course to be here at St. Coco Books please let plants nourish you our book is out we have, we have it here if you can make it here today we will have copies of the book here at the site and then you can always go online chefb.com and you can always buy a copy of the book all right happy father's day to everybody we love you guys out there please take care of yourself please take care of your prostate Please make sure that you are getting your emotional well-being on. Please take care of your partner. Ooh, yes. go ahead. Please. <laughs> so, you talking to the women? Or you I'm talking, talking to everybody. everybody. Mm. Please take care of your partner. Do not, do not even think of taking on some aspect of a conversation that says they don't matter, whatever, mm. I, I don't have time. Take care of your partner, period. I say. <laughs> All right, y'all, enjoy your Sunday, and we will be back in about two weeks. Happy Father's Day.